Hi, I'm Lynn Langett, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to take a quick look at Windows Server 2012 by um, spinning up a virtual machine on Windows Azure. So in your Windows Azure portal, you have to enable virtual machines, and you do that by clicking on the preview and then you request to uh, work with virtual machines and then you'll get an approval. It took me um, 24 hours to get that. So once you get that, then you can spin up a virtual machine with Windows Server 2012, which um, if you're like me and you want to take a look without doing any of the installs or the downloading is kind of cool. So if I click on virtual machines and uh, then I click on, and I'll move this thing out of the way here. Let's put it right there. Click on new and then I click on virtual machine I can do a quick create or from gallery and if I click from gallery I've got Windows Server 2012 here and then I can just click right here and then I can create um, a virtual machine based on that so because I haven't really been keeping up with the new releases in Windows I thought I would take a look so I did that so I spun up my machine here and uh, inside of the portal you can get a you know glance at the usage and all that good stuff it spun up pretty quick. It took hmm, maybe five, ten minutes to, to go. And uh, then here's your endpoints so that you can RDP into it, which are turned on by default. And then you can configure it. And I just did the small size here. Now, for the purposes of the video, I already RDP'd into it. And uh, I just thought, you know, like all the rest of us, I'd show you me fumbling around the, the interface here because, of course, we have no start button. So the first thing that comes up is Server Explorer and inside of here you have the local server information and I'll move this over so you can see it sorry for this thing and so that shows you the server information and then you have the manage button you can add roles and features you have the tools so you can get into the various tools um, and if I want to add roles and features I just click here and then that's going to come up and give me a wizard to add roles and features and I say next and then I say uh, you know role based feature based or remote desktop and then to this particular server and then I say what I want to add and then here's all the stuff that you might want to add to the server so that's how that works and then the interesting thing about this course is that this new interface with no start button so what what can you see so you can see over here you got search start and settings and down here you have PowerShell and the, the you know your folder so you can pop this thing open over here and uh, go here and go search and uh, then you can you can bring this thing up if you want to and then you can uh, search again this is a new interface I think for all of us so taking some time to, to figure out how this works so like if I type keyboard then it comes up pretty quick like um, one app and all these different settings so again just a quick look at um, uh, Windows Server 2012 um, just found this in the Windows Azure VM previews and thought it was cool so I thought I would make a quick video in case uh, you have one of these test accounts and you want to try it out as well without doing the download through through MSDN. Now I gotta get this thing off let's see is it uh Nope, that doesn't do it. Okay, go back to apps. And I think you bring the desktop back this way. So this is this is me looking, trying to figure this out. Again, I think it's going to take us all a little bit of time to get used to this new interface. There's the desktop. So uh, this is uh, Lynn Langett. And in this case, it's not all things data. I guess it's all things uh, Windows or, or cloud, I guess, because this is running on Microsoft's cloud. So this is a Windows Server 2012 preview running on the, I'll bring this back up, on the uh, Azure cloud, and uh, this is a preview you can turn on. So more at www.linlangit.com. Thank you.